Hello everyone. Hello everyone and this is Elspeth from the Planeswalker Pantheon bringing you today an MTG Arena pack opening. Uh, Theros Beyond Death has just had its pre-release event and I'm going to crack 67 packs of it on MTG Arena. I've scored these packs through the pre-order bonus. There's also a code called Play Theros which will give you I think five packs and you also get uh, some packs uh, if you uh, attend your local pre-release, there's a code in the in your pre-release kits that will give you access to six more packs. And I believe, like I said, you get some packs when the set actually officially goes live on Arena. Anyways, enough about that. Let's just crack these packs, shall we? Let's start with the first one. Oh, this is a cool lot. They tell you if you, if this is your first card of first of a particular card or not. So we've got Scophus War Leader, Myers Grasp, very good removal in Limited, Thaumaturge is Familiar, Night Leader's Huntmaster, Relentless Pursuit, Nessian Wanderer, Dream Shaper Shaman, and our rare is Wave Break Hippocamp. So for two and a blue, you get an enchantment creature Horsefish. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, draw a card, and it's a 2-2. Two -two. Venomous Hero Fan, Thermoturge is Familiar, Discordant Piper, the Goat Guy, Temple Thief, Voracious Typhoon, Mystic Repeal, Glimpse of Freedom, and our rare is the Enigmatic Incarnation, so basically the Enchantment Pod. So for two, a blue and a green and a blue, you get an enchantment. At the beginning of your M step, you may sacrifice another permanent, another enchantment. If you do, search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost equal to 1 plus the sacrifice enchantment's converted mana cost. Put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. So maybe some pod Vanathar decks might be coming out for standard, who knows. Mogus's Favor, Bronze Sword, Warbriar Blessing, Knight of the Hidden Coves, Nyxborn Seaguard, Maratron, I love this artwork and this card is so good. Laguna Band Storyteller and our rare is actually a mythic. It's Kallax, Destiny's Hand. He's, he's a planeswalker, so for two, a green or white, you get a legendary planeswalker Kallax. Starts at four loyalty. Look at the top, for the plus one, you look at the top four cards of your library, you may reveal an enchantment card from among them and put that card into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Minus three, exile target creature or enchantment you don't control until target enchantment you control leaves the battlefield. And for minus seven, you return all enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield, so you get a replenish as the ultimate. Next one. Food Tizerus, Funeral Rites, Bronze Sword, Hero of the Pride, Timurit, Chosen from Death. I hope Arena makes the constellations available as alternate artworks, because the constellation versions of all these cards look amazing, especially in foil. Clothes is Design and a Rare. Is Kuranos, Hand of Atheros, also known as the goodest good boy. So for one, a white and a black, you get a legendary creature hand. It's a 3-3 with Vigilance, Menace, and Lifelink. Creature cards in graveyards can't enter the battlefield and players can't cast spells from graveyards. Arena Trickster, Satyr's Cunning, Phlox Cyclops, Omen of the Dead, Stampede Rider, Hydra's Growth, and an inevitable end. Burr. And our rare is Dream Troll. This thing is stupid. It's dumb. It's broken. It's probably the only controls newest finisher. So for two, two white and two blue, you get a creature Sphinx. It's a 3-5 with flying and lifelink. Whenever you draw a card, Dream Trawler gets plus one, plus O oh until end of turn. Whenever Dream Trawler attacks, draw a card. Discard a card, Dream Trawler gains hexproof until end of turn. Tap it. So whenever you're attacking with it, it's going to be a 5-5 five, five flyer with lifelink in the air every single time. That's ridiculous. That is. And the fact that it can protect itself makes it even crazier. We've got a Thirst for Meaning, Satyr's Coming, Cunning, Man Memory Drain, War Briar Blessing, a common wild card, Gary's back, back again. Gary's back, tell a friend. An uncommon wild card and a rare is Nyx Lotus. So for four mana, you get a legendary artifact. It enters the battlefield tapped. You tap it and choose a color. Add an amount of mana to that, of that color equal to your devotion to that color. Next 
Final Death, Underworld Rage Hound, Gift of Strength, Sleep of the Dead, Nixborn Corsa, Banishing Light. I'm so happy this is back in standard. It's an amazing card. Soul Guide Lantern and our rare Eat to Extinction. So four, three, and a black yet an instant. Exile target creature or planeswalker. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Vincent Prose, who did the artwork for this particular card, actually has posted the high resolution version of this art, and it is gruesome. There are mouths everywhere, including, you can just barely see it in this, like if you ever look at the high res art, you'd be able to see it a lot better. But right in the nose, there's a couple of little tiny mouths. Yikes. Alright, next. Transcendent Envoy, Grim Physician, Scopus War Leader, Omen of the Sun, a common wild card. Cling to Dust, Nyx Herald, and our rare is actually one of the new one of the scry lands. It's the Temple of Plenty. Uh, all the temples that enter the battlefield tapped, and for Temple of Plenty, when it enters the and a all scry one when you when they enter the battlefield for Temple of Plenty, you can tap to add green or white. Nyx Born Colossus, Plummet, Tearing Wave Mystic, Hero of the Games. Underworld Charger, Commanding Presence, Laguna Bat and Storyteller, and our rare, Archon of Sun's Grace. So for two and two white, you get a creature, Archon with Flying and Lifelink. Pegasus creatures you control have Lifelink. And for Constellation, whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 white Pegasus creature token with Flying. Uh, would there be some sort of white, mono white Archon deck maybe in standard with that Archon from... Um, Oh, from Eldoran. You know, it might fit in the mono white decks just fine. The ones that are coming up with Heliod and all that jazz. Skola Grove Dancer, Underworld Rage Hound, Iroas' Blessing, Infuriate, Incendiary Oracle, The Binding of the Titans is our is it not one of our uncommons, but an uncommon wild card, and our rare is another E to Extinction. Islamic Cyclops, Return to Nature, Statesman Skirmisher, Arena Trickster, Stampede Rider, Hero of the Winds, Hateful Eidolon, and our rare is Allure of the Unknown. Seven so McKinnon again, killing it with the artwork. So for three, a black and a red, you get a sorcery. Reveal the top six cards of your library. An opponent exiles a non land card from among them, and you put the rest into your hand. That opponent may cast that exile card without paying its mana cost. Sentinel's Eyes, Ichthyomorphosis, Nyxborn Colossus, Soul Reaper of Mogus, Nyxborn Brute, Therendusinger, Elspeth's Nightmare. That is clearly a Phyrexian, uh, Phyrexian Obliterator, by the way. Just saying. And our rare is Eidolon of Obstruction. So for one and a white, you get a 2 1 enchantment creature spirit with first strike. Loyalty abilities of planeswalkers your opponent's control cost one more to activate. Scavenging Harpy. This is actually probably one of my favourite commons in the lim limited amount of limited I've played in this format. I actually use this to exile my opponent's Titan that they let go into the graveyard because they just initially cast it. It was fun. Pious Wayfarer. Return to Nature. Thaumaturge is Familiar. Common Wildcard. Clothes is Design. Annex Hardened in the Forge. And our rare is Dalakos, Crafter of Wonders. So for one, a blue and a red, you get a legendary creature, Merfolk Artificer. It has, it has, you can tap it, it's a 2-4. You can tap to add two colors, spend this mana to only cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifacts. Equipped creatures you control have flying in haste. Cool. This artwork looks really nice. Sorcerer's Familiar, Arena Trickster, Daybreak Chimera, Voracious Typhoon, Typhon, Underworld Rage Hound, Fenris Brand Brawler, Underworld Dream. So happy to see this get a reprint because this new artwork is so cool looking. And our rare is another Wave Break Hippocamp. Camp. 
Vexing Girl, the best Windrake ever. Nixborn Brute, Satessan Skirmisher, Final Death, Transcendent Envoy, Thundering Cha Chariot, and our rare is a rare wild card. I can't wait to start brewing with this set. There's so many things I want to try out. Stern Dismissal, Nixborn Corsa, Hero of the Pride, Underworld Charger, Sunmane Pegasus, Shoal Kraken, Sea God Scorn, and our rare. Dream Trawler! Looks like I'm going to be building built some sort of blue eye control deck at some point. Satessan, Satessan Training, Hero of the Pride, Karametra's Blessing, Daybag Chimera, Common Wild Card, Triumph of Annex. I don't think I've seen this. Oh, actually, yes, I have seen this one. I was going to say, Nessium Wanderer and our rare is a Mythic Wild Card. Satessan Training, Arena Trickster, Karametra's Blessing, Scophus War Leader, Fruit of Tyzerus, Soul Guide Lantern, Whirlwind Denial, because my gosh, the counter spells are going to be nuts. And our rare is a Satessan Champion. So for two and a green, you get a 1 3 creature human warrior. It has consolation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on Satessan Champion and draw a card. Hey, who loved Idol One of Blossoms back in um, Original Pharaohs, huh? This thing is so pushed. Sleep of the Dead, Towering Wave Mystic, Rumbling Sentry, Relentless Pursuit, Common Wild Card, Dream Stalker Manticore, Fateful End, and our rare is a Mythic Wild Card. I'm gonna, let a, gonna get a lot of crafting materials, me thinks. Gift of Strength, Mixborn Corsair, Moss Viper, Iroas' Bursling, Leonin of the Lost Pride, a Satessan Petitioner, huh. An uncommon wild card, and our rare is Labyrinth of Scophers. So it's a land you can tap to add colours, and you can pay four and tap it to remove target attacking or blocking creature from combat. Grim Physician, Final Flare, Stampede Rider, Witness of Tomorrows, Indomitable Will, Field of Ruin. I'm so happy to see this reprint, and I love this artwork compared to the excellent art. Blood Aspirant and our rare is Dried of the Elysian Grove. So for two and a green, you get Enchantment Creature Nymph. It's a 2-4. You may pay an additional land on each of your turns. Lands you control every basic land type in addition to their other types. So who loves a chromatic land and attached to a creature? Who else here is also a Valakut player? Because this t makes colour irrelevant in Valakut. You can play, you know, Dread Presence. You can play Valakut. You know, there's... You can play Field... Oh, is it not Field of the Dead? Yeah, Field of the Dead, because you don't even care about what kind of lands you're playing anymore. So cool. And I love this artwork. Scavenging Harpy. Elysian Caryatid. Omen of the Sun. Arena Trickster. Grim Physician. Clothes' Design. Agonizing Remorse. And our rare is Timurit Calls the Dead. So for two and a black, you get a Saga. Versus one and two, you put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard, then you may exile a creature or an enchantment card from your graveyard. If you do, create a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token. And then for the third verse, you gain X life and scry X, where X is the number of zombies you control. Very nice. And then the zombie tokens are cool. I keep saying every, every time about new zombie tokens every time they come out. Each one seems to be better than the last. Maya's Grasp. Stampede Rider. Omen of the Sun. Stone Dismissal, Night of the Hidden Coves, Cling to Dust, Uncommon Wildcard, and our rare is a Storm Herald. So for two and a red, you get a creature, human shaman, it's a 3-2. Um, when it enters the battlefield, return any number of aura cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to creatures you control. Exile those auras at the beginning of your next end step. If those auras would leave the battlefield, exile them instead with it, instead of putting them anywhere else. So it's kind of like a uh, kind of like a Goryeo's Vengeance? But for enchantments, but it's attached to a creature. It's interesting. Definitely interesting. Glory Bearers, Nixborn Corsair, Aspect of Manticore, Omen of the Sea, Common Wild Card, 
minions return and our rare is another dream tour it looks like i will be building blue white control in thero standard because that card is dumb elite instructor scholar grove dancer rumbling sentry portent of betrayal aspect of lamprey Skurfus Maze Warden, this guy actually pairs with the maze that we opened up earlier. Uh, Agonizing Remorse, and our rare is Nightmare Shepherd, so who loves Aristocrats? So for 2 and 2 black and enchantment creature demon, it's a 4-4 four, four with flying. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, you may exile it. If you do, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's a 1-1 one, one, and it's a nightmare in addition to its other types. Really cool card. Elite Instructor, Scholar Grove Dancer, Wrap in Flames, Venomous Hierophant, Omen of the Forge, One with the Stars, Heliod's Punishment, and our rare is a Mythic Rare Wild Card. Sun Main Pegasus, Glory Bearers, Triumphant Surge, Satessan Skirmisher, Common Wild Card, Binding of the Titans, an uncommon wild card and our rare is Temple of the Sea. So this is the blue black temple. Same thing as the Temple of Plenty from earlier, except it taps at blue black instead of green white. Plummet, Satyr's Cunning, Discordant Piper, Triumph Surge, Aspect of Manticore, Banishing Light, Dream Shaper Shaman, and our rare. Is Thassa's Oracle. So who likes main cards and um, laboratory maniacs? So Thassa's Oracle is two blue. You get a creature, Merfolk Wizard. It's a one three. When Thassa's Oracle enters the battlefield, look at the top X cards of your library, where X is your devotion to blue. Put up to one of them on top of your library, and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. If X is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library, you win the game. So basically, if you can see all the cards in your library, you have infinite knowledge, and you won. Omen of the Sea, Scrofus War Leader, Hero of the Games, Discordant Piper, Irre Irreverent Revelers, Triumph of Annex, Underworld Dreams, and our rare is an enigmatic incarnation. Rah. Cetacean Skirmisher, Omen of the Sea, Portent of Betrayal, Arena Trickster, Nexus Wardens, Field of Ruin, Enemy of Enlightenment, and our rare is actually a mythic. It's one of the gods. It's Thassa Deep Dwelling. So for three and a blue, you get a legendary enchantment creature god. It's a six five with indestructible. As long as your devotion to blue is less than five, Thassa isn't a creature. At the beginning of your end step, exile up to one other target creature you control, then return that creature card under to the battlefield under your control. Uh, pay three and a blue to tap another target creature. Little note as an interaction if you happen to draft uh, blue red in the set. If you have Thassa and you happen to draft, say, a Portent of Betrayal, which is the threaten in this set, you take that creature, you swing with it, you go to your end step you bl and you blink that creature. That creature is now permanently yours. Um, because when you blink something, it's a new object and it forgets its former identity. Basically, is how that ruling works. Stampede Rider, Stern Dismissal, Final Flare, Inspire All, Common Wild Card, Heliod's Punishment, Annex, Harden the, For Harden the Forge, and a rare is an Eidolon of Obstruction. Rumbling Sentry, Unknown Shores, Transcendent Envoy, Elite Instructor, Funeral Rites, Phalanx Tactics, an uncommon wild card, and our rare is the Tessan Champion. Point of Betrayal, Lampad of Death's Vigil, Fruit of Tizerus, Brian Giant, Transcendent Ovoy, Sonia, Captain of Phileses, Sage of Mysteries, and our rare is Treacherous Blessings. This thing is MC play in standard for sure. So for two and a black and enchantment, when it enters the battlefield, you draw three cards. Whenever you cast a spell, you lose one life. And when it becomes the target of a spell or an ability, sacrifice it.
and explore Marauder, Hero of the Pride, Man of Dra Memory Drain, Wings of Hubris, Elysian Cut Caryatid, Agonizing Remorse, Dreamstalker Mandacore, and our rare, Dried of the Elysian Grove. Fruit of Triseris, Transcendent Envoy, Eidolon Philosophy, Terran Wave Mystic, Common Wild Card, Triumph of Annex, Warden of the Chained, and our rare is Temple of Malice. I kind of like these new artworks better than the original artworks personally. So, like I said with the temples previously, they enter battle pool tapped. When they enter, you scry one. This one, you can add red or black to your mana pool. Aspect of Lamprey, Omen of the Sun, Omen of the Dead, Arena Trickster, Nyxborn Seaguard, Wolf Willow Haven is our first uncommon. Phalanx Tactics is our second uncommon. And our rare is Ideal Tutor. So happy to see this reprint at least for people who are who are into Commander. So for two and a white you get a sorcery. Search your library for an enchantment card, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Daybreak Chimera, Fruit of Tiziris, Farika's Libation, Glory Bearers, Wrap in Flames, Nessian Horn Beetle, Warden of the Chained, and our rare is Nadir Kraken. This thing is a dumb card as well. So for a two, one and two blue, you get a creature Kraken, it's a two, three. Whenever you draw a card, you may play it in one. If you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on Nadir Kraken and create a blue one, one blue tentacle creature that, token. It just takes over the board if you don't kill it immediately. Sleep of the Dead, Underworld Charger, Thrill of Possibility, Starlit Mantle, Omen of the Dead, Grey Merchant of Vastadel, Uncommon Wildcard, and our rare, Allure of the Unknown. Plummet, Altar of the Pantheon, Gift of Strength, Voracious Typhon, Portent of Betrayal, Sweet Oblivion, Archon of, of Falling Stars, and our rare is Aphemia the Cacophony. So for one to black, you get a 2-1 legendary enchantment creature, Harpy. It has flying, it's a 2-1. At the beginning of your end step, you may exile an enchantment card from your graveyard if you do create a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. Captivating Unicorn, Satessin Training, Aroas' Blessing, Satyr's Coming, Common Wild Card, Mischievous Chimera, Uncommon Wild Card, and our rare is Mantle of the Wolf. So for three in a green, you get Enchantment Aura. Enchant Creature, Enchanted Creature gets plus four, plus four. When Mantle of the Wolf is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, create two, 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 two green wolf creature tokens. Gift of Strength, Omen of the Sea, Yearning of the Lost Pride, Irre Irreverent Revelers, Rage Guard Berserker, Hero of the Nick Spawn, Farika's Spawn, and our rare, rare wild card. Oread of Mountain's Blaze, Glory Bearers, Wrap in Flames, Voracious Tython, Uncommon, a common wild card, Shimmerwing Chimera, Banishing Light, and our rare is Perforos' Intervention. So this is part of a cycle of instant and sorceries. Uh, for Perforos' Intervention, you choose one. Create an X1 red elemental creature token with Trample and Haste. Sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step. Uh, or you can... Or... Perforos' Intervention deals twice X damage to target creature or Planeswalker. Omen of the Dead. A spy, inspire Or. Heliod's Pilgrim. Satesh and Skirmisher. Domable Will. Hydra's Growth, an uncommon wild card, and our rare. The first I wrong answer this is basically the Olympics. So for two and a green, uh, the first verse of the saga is you create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. For the second one, you put three plus one plus one counters on target creature you control. For the third one, if you control a creature with power four or greater, you draw two cards. And for the, and for the fourth one, I think this is the first saga that we've ever seen with four... With four steps. For the fourth one, you create a gold token. 
I'm really happy that Saga's actually came here because honestly, aside from Dominaria, this is the only other set that I think of that would make sense for him. Lampad of Death's Vigil, Unknown Shores, Traveler's Amulet, Mogus's Favor, Underworld Rage Hound, Staggering Insight, this is very, very good, Mischievous Chimera, and our rare is Protean Thaumaturge. So for one and a blue, you get a creature human wizard with consolation. Whenever an, an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may have Protean Thaumaturge become a copy of another target creature, except it has this ability. So it's a clone that can clone anything, but only when enchantments come around. And here's another thing which is kind of key. It doesn't revert back to its 1-1 one, one po point ever. It will just keep the form of whatever a creature you decide to clone until, until you decide to activate it again. Pious Wayfarer, Heliod's Pilgrim, Knight of the Hidden Coves, Indomitable Will, Discordant Piper, Favoured of Iroas, Uncommon Wildcard, and our rare, it's a Tess and Chan, and I think we've got a play set of them actually now. Hero of the Pride, Final Flare, Scholar Grove Dancer, Indomitable Will, Common Wild Card, Cling to Dust, Soul Guard Lantern, and a rare, Allure of the Unknown. Hero of the, Hero of the Pride, Myers Grasp, Cetacean Skirmisher, Farika's Libation, Captivating Unicorn, Heliod's Punishment, Underworld Fires, and a rare, Thus is intervention, so for X and two blue, you get an instant. With the top X cards of your library, put up to two of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Counter target spell unless its controller pays twice X. I did this for 10 and I did not find the card that I was looking for to end the game. <laughs> and, I, and I ended up losing, but hey, what are you going to do? That's, that's the breaks, huh? I dug down about 10 cards deep, put them all, put, grabbed whatever was good and put them in my hand and then hopefully it brought me close to the card that I was actually looking for. Soul Reaper of Mogus, Nullia's Huntmaster, Idolon of Philosophy, Funeral Rites, Wrap and Flames, Sea God Scorn, an Uncommon Wildcard and a Rare, Enigmatic Incarnation. Gee, Jeebus, that's a lot of them. Scophus's War Leader, Hyrax Tower Scout, Leonin of Lost Pride, Hero of the Pride, Common Wild Card, Mystic Repeal, Fateful End, and our rare, Wavebreak Keeper Camp. Incendiary Oracle, Venomous Hierophant, Starlet Mantle, Fruit of Tizerus, Return to Nature, Field of Ruin, Whirlwind Denial, and our rare, Nightmare Shepherd. Traveler's Amulet, Iroas' Blessing, Venomous Hierophant, Hyrax Tower Scout, Fruit of Tizerus, Satessan Petitioner, Phalanx Tactics, and a rare is Heliod's Intervention. So for X and two white, you get an instant. Choose one, destroy X target artifacts and or enchantments, and t or target plague ends twice X life. Pious Wayfarer, Ichthyomorphosis, Nyxborn Brute, Nyxborn Colossus, Omen of the Hunt, Alirus Enraptured. I love this how they've done this artwork, it's so cool. The fact that it's complete, a complete mirror image of the creature itself, it's so cool. Uncommon Wildcard and our rare, Protean Thaumaturge. Temple Thief. Daybreak Chimera, Infuriate, Underworld Rage Hound, a common wild card, One with the Stars, Clothis' Design, and our rare is Clothis, God of Destiny. So for one, a red and a green, you get a legendary, creature, legendary enchantment creature god, has indestructible, it's a 4-5. Uh, as long as your devotion to red and green is less than 7, Clothis isn't a creature. This actually follows the design of the first round. Of two colored gods where the devotion had to be seven or had to be seven. Uh, at the beginning of pre combat main phase, exile a target card from a graveyard. If it was a land, add red or green. Otherwise, you gain two life and Clothis deals two damage to each opponent. Soul 
Scholar Glo- Grove Dancer, Owner of the Sun, Mixborn Corsair, Indomitable Will, Transcendent Envoy, Reverend Hoplite, who likes a little bit of Power Creeper, Thundering Chariot, and our rare is Ashok's Erasure. So for two and two blue, get an enchantment with Flash. When Ashok's Erasure enters the battlefield, exile target spell. Your opponents can't cast spells with the same name as the exiled card. When Ashok's Erasure leaves the battlefield, return the exiled cards to its owner's hand. So the card that it gets never ever enters the battlefield. It just comes back to their hand. They have to try and pray that they don't hit another Erasure from you. Nexus Wardens, Nyxborn Brute, Discordant Pi- Piper, Wings of Hubris, Aspect of Lamprey, Clothis' Design, Metamized Prophecy, and a rare is Erebos the Bleak Hearted. So for three and a black, you're a legendary enchantment creature god and is indestructible. It's a 5 6. As long as your devotion to black is less than 5, Erebos isn't a creature. Whenever you, another creature you control dies, you may pay 2 life. If you do, draw a card. For one of black and sacrifice another creature, target creature gets minus two, minus one until end of turn. Portal of Betrayal, Thrill of Possibility, Venomous Hierophant, Temple Thief, Transcendent Envoy, Escape Velocity, Reverend Hoplite, and a rare is Kiora Beth's the Sea God. So for five and two blue, you get a saga for the first for this first uh, chapter. You create an 8-8 blue Kraken creature with token text proof. For the second chapter, you tap all non-land permanents target opponent controllers. They don't untap during their controller's next un- untap step. And for the third one, you gain control of target opponent and opponent controllers and you untap it. That's a big beefy saga. That's a good story, I think. Nolia's Huntmaster, Iroza's Blessing, Omen of the Dead, Sleep of the Dead, Common Wild Card. Sea, sea God Scorn, our Seed of Life's Bounty, and our rare is a Mythic Wild Card. Sentinel's Eyes, Captivating Unicorn, Iroza's Blessing, Starlit Mantle, Fruit Tiserius, Hero of the Nyx Spawn, an Uncommon Wild Card, and our rare is Gallia of the Endless Dance. I like this artwork, art style actually. So for Red and Green, you get a legendary creature, Seda. It's a 2 2 with haste. Other satyrs you control get plus one plus one and have haste. Actually kind of relevant with the amount of satyrs there are in this set. But the key thing is whenever you attack with three or more creatures you may discard a card at random. If you do, draw two cards. Actually it's because of that card I won one of my events in the pre-release. Rapid Flames, Glory Bearers, Revoke Existence, Thirst Remaining, Memory Drain, Hateful Eilon, Thedoni Singer, and our rare is a Mythic Wild Card. Irrevelant Revelers, Aspect of Manticore, Riptide Turtle, Nyxborn Brute, Final Death, Glimpse of Freedom, Drag to the Underworld, this is probably the best removal ever in a while, and a rare is Atros, Oracle of Hearth Truths. So for two of blue and black, you get a legendary creature, Human Advisor, it's a 3 2. With Menace, when it uh, when Artist Oracle of Path Truths enters the battlefield, target opponent looks at the top three cards of your library and separates them into a face down pile and a face up pile. Put one pile into your hand, the other into your graveyard. So who likes a fortune's favor? Back from um, Shadows of Innistrad block, it basically does that. It's a cool card. Wings of Hubris, Elite Instructor, Voracious Typhon. Paraxis Tile Scout, Common Wild Card, Singing Lionfish, Dreamstalker Manticore, and our rare, Satessan Champion. Discordant Piper, Nolia's Forerunner, Stern Dismissal, Temple Thief, Indomitable Will, Reverend Hoplite, Timur Chosen from Death, and our rare is Heal of the Sun Crown. So this is going to be the big bad, I think, of the format, at least for... Modern and Pioneer. Uh, so, Heal of the Sun Crown. So, two and a white, you get a legendary enchantment creature god. It's a 5 5 with indestructible. As long as your devotion to white is less than 5, healed isn't a creature. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature or enchantment you control. Pay one and a white, another target creature gains life until end of turn. So, you play this. You play a Blister Sadie at minimum of two. 
of two. You pay two mana, one at a white. You give the Blissa lifelink. You start removing and putting back those counters as much as you can until your opponent's life goes to nothing. Farika's Libation, Vexing Gull, Seder's Cunning, Bright Bre Blight Breath Catablepus, Common Wildcard, Inevitable Land, Underworld Dreams, and your rare is Enigmatic Incarnation. That is such a hard thing to say when you're, you know, a little bit tired. Anyway, Indomitable Will, Thirst for Meaning, Witness of Tomorrows, Seder's Cunning, Voracious Typhon, an Uncommon Wildcard, Minions Return and a Rare is Artist Oracle of Half Truths. Nixborn Colossus, Final Death, Loathsome Chimera, Starlit Mantle, Nexus Wardens, Drag to the Underworld, Clothes Design, and a Rare is a Nyx Bloom Ancient. This thing is big mana, big money. So for four and three green, you get a Legend Enchantment, an enchantment Creature Elemental. It's a 5-5 five, five with Trample. If you tap a permanent for mana, it produces three times as much of that mana instead. So, you've got a Soul Ring. That now taps for six. You tap any of the Signets. That's also six, but however you want. You know, there's... You activate a Nykthos for, for an absurd amount of mana. Yeah, double, triple that absurd amount of mana. Oh, uh, this is going to do some things in Commander, I think, because I think it's just a little slow for Standard. Hero of the Games, Arena Trickster, Myers Grasp, Elite Instructor, Thaumaturge is Familiar, Cling to Dust, Escape Velocity, and our rare, Kiora Bass Sea God. And our final pack for today Sunmane Pegasus, Omen of the Dead, Satyr's Cunning, Pious Wayfinder, Common Wildcard, Illyrius Enraptured, Reverend Hoplite, and our rare. Dried of the Leaves and Groves. What a way to finish up this video, everyone. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Elspeth. I'm from the Planeswalker Pantheon. You can follow the page. All the links are down below. Feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will hopefully have a paper opening coming up very, very soon. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.